Hey, my little pumpernickels. How's everybody's day going? This is a get ready with me, but it's going to be using products from my Ipsy bag. Not all of them, just some. And um, I guess an update vlog, <clears throat> pregnancy vlog. That's what I want to do. But I'm going to pause it for a few moments, get myself together. Actually, I'm not going to pause it. Um, I have a primer. My face has been, y'all know I'm pregnant, right? If you don't, you know now. You should know from the previous video. But this is also from an Ipsy bag, and my face has been super, super greasy. So, I'm going to try to mix these two. Um, this is also from Ipsy. This is actually from Birchbox. So I might use it, I might not. It. Um, but this is Sally's Box Aqua Moist Gel Cream. And because I have oily skin, gels are really great for oily skin. Just kidding, oily. And yeah, I can actually put certain things on my face without having to use gloves. Eye creams, moisturizers, that's two things I can do. Get some brows. And I do skip my eyes. And I <clears throat> haven't decided if I want to use my trusty Monistat chafing cream for my pores. But you know, that's my go to. And this, um, what I'm putting on my eyes, it's not from Ipsy or Glam, wait, Ipsy Glam Bag or Birchbox. So, I know I look like I'm being kind of rough, but I really am not. And, uh, I still have a little bit of mascara on from yesterday. So, alright, I guess I'll use this probiotic based but just a drop this might even be too much sorry I just got a text <clears throat> that goes in there that might be way too much so I'm just gonna pat that in I need some for my lips, so I'm going to pause and come back. I thought I paused, but apparently I just started the video over. So, I got me. This came from Ipsy. I unbagged it. And I, um, I got a face cream. So, I'm hoping that I like it. Not a face cream, a foundation. The makeup forever. Um, I didn't, I never got a concealer. Um, I'm going to use my regular face powder, but I am going to set and highlight under my eye with the Winky Lux Diamond Powder. And I better get my gloves on because I won't have any skin on my hands. <clears throat> I've already wettened my Real Techniques sponge. I wash my gloves. Um, makeup is kind of oily, so it kind of sticks and stains it. And I only use them until they just look like there's no place to put makeup anymore. And then I take them off. I think I want to fill in my pores. So I'm actually going to pause, fill in my pores, and come back. Pores are filled in. I was going to use the two eyeshadows. One's from Urban Decay. And it's holographic, like a, I think that's what it's called, chrome, duochrome. It's duochrome, not holographic. And I'm, I, you know, this is daytime going to work, 
So I'm gonna not do duochrome. And then this one, and I'm I'm really a matte girl, so I'm not gonna shimmer it up today because um, I think of shimmers of being across my eyelid, and this is just too dark for daytime and shimmer. So I'm probably gonna use my own private collection and matte this face up. So I have um, attempted to pip, I can't even speak, um, fill in my pores and <clears throat> I'm going to put this on. I'm going to get it started. Um, ooh, it's real runny and this might be too white for me and I'm pretty pale. So it looks like, I guess I could use a little bit of this and then um, some of Milani's because Milani's is really thick because it is like, you know, two on one. So let's see, let's mix. We'll do half the face and then see how that goes on camera. Other half I will do on camera. My Milani wasn't really dark, <clears throat> just very yellow undertone and a neutral. But I noticed that Milani is really, really, really thick, so it's really high coverage. Um, it's drugstore, cheap, and cruelty-free. Let's see. Alright, well, <clears throat> I'm going to do this, and I'll be back. So what do y'all think? Good. Too pale. I guess you can't see. My lights are horrible too. <clears throat> um, concealer. Oh, I have it up. <clears throat> so since some, some of these products are not like I don't wanna put too much on here because I really want want to focus this on being like what was in my Ipsy and Birchbox. Birchbox only sent me, actually I think it's these two items. Um, a Tarte, Tartist Lash Paint Mascara and um, the Cream Blush. So, yeah, but um, majority of everything else is, and I'm going to attempt, oh yeah, that would be my dry blush. I like that. Some of this, I'm going to attempt. Not really a fan of either one of those. Alright, so I got to hustle this. I already started blending off camera because I didn't want to spend too long. I don't know how to do all the extra editing fabulousness and just my luck I'll be in the middle of a story time and cut half of it off trying to edit Ugh. anyways I was gonna give y'all a pregnancy update so I'm still not gonna tell y'all yet I have a doctor's appointment Monday so I'm not gonna tell you how far along I am I'm, I promise you I'm not very far along at all like I found out before my PS period and it's not been very long ago okay <clears throat> so what I, once I tell this part, some of, women will know. There's men who watch my channel too. But women's will know. Some men's will know too. And I know men's, it's not plural, but I'm going to make it plural. I'm going to hustle and set under my eye. Usually I use my sponge and Cody Airspud. 
I don't know how this is going to, um, one day I looked and I looked kind of chalky. So I'm, I know this is good to like dust off your bake, but, um, but anyways, um, my placenta is starting to develop. Um, I've had all pregnancy signs. I'm talking about all. I get dizzy. Um, I don't really get hungry, but I do have an appetite, which is normal, honey. It's, I'm a big girl. And <clears throat> nausea, no vomiting yet, a little bit of constipation, and then sometimes it catches up with some diarrhea. Not that y'all want to know that part. Um... So, I also want to know why it, do you get pregnancy symptoms before you even know you're pregnant? <clears throat> and why the symptoms, basically. So, you know, I researched it. And this is why. Because I was like, why am I getting all these symptoms and I'm barely pregnant? And my assistant manager said, it's all in your head. It's made up. You're just imagining this. So, of course, I did my research to make sure I wasn't imagining this. Sure enough, I'm not. So, once your body starts producing the hormones, H, or a hormone HCG, there's side effects. Those side effects are constipation, nausea, vomiting, cramping, Dizziness, headaches, back pain, and the list goes on. So, when I told her I think it was hormonal, guess who was right? Mama. Mama's always right, though. So, it's not made up in my head. You know what? I am not going to use this because I just forgot. I have just powdered my whole face. That will be another time. <clears throat> or I, I've seen people use it with powder. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what Mama can do. Mm -hmm. Mama could have, may have just made a mistake. My nose is whistling. Oh, yeah. Sinus issues. Like no one's business. <clears throat> Nothing but sinus problems. Let's see if I can blend this in. I'm gonna be real rosy. Oh God. What did I do? Y'all, I gotta go to work like this. I ain't got time to take this off and start over. Maybe I can savage, savage this look. Who knows? This is not Ipsy or Birch Box, but I love it. This is Physician's Formula and it's Butter Bronzer. Sugar. That blush was a mistake. Y'all know that. 
Do y'all think I can fix it? Can I come back? Hmm. Maybe I just slather too much. Now I gotta try to make this Caribbean mess. Oh, you know what I can do? Set it with some Cody Airspun and that will calm the color down. And then I can fan it off. Just gonna be real rosy today, y'all. <laughs> Shit. See, I'm used to blush not showing up on my skin. what I'm used to. I don't even know if I want to do anything else. I don't. This is so little. I'm afraid. I don't even know if I'm even getting my thing in there. Y'all, I'm going to go in looking like I tried to clown contour. It's just a bit rosy. I'll blame it on the pregnancy. It's the baby. It's the hormones. You know, it turns everything red. Mm. Maybe I can... Maybe if I highlight, let's put some wet and wild on here. that helped out a little bit. I think I'm going to have to put some Cody Airspun a little bit further down. See how that goes. I'll let my pork chops bake. I did my brows off camera and then I remembered I didn't finish them that I got the benefit gimme brow <clears throat> that just messed up oh, God. 
I have my first appointment Monday for the OBGYN. And as y'all might be able to see, that front brow just got a little extra product up in the front. So, I flicker it off and blend it. And then with this, it's kind of, you know, it's got, um, oh, what is that? That fake brow stuff hairs fibers it's got fibers in it and then i got thrive cosmetics um black eyeliner this is cruelty free i like it all right so you see me getting started i'm gonna pause because i gotta use this other mirror because mama's blonde and i'll be back Oh, and then I remembered I have this lippy from Bella Pierre, number two nude from Ipsy. Oh, and then that's my eyeliner. So I'm just going to fill in all of my lip. And probably some extra. My lips are moisturized, so it's slipping and sliding. Oh, my face is itching. Y'all can't scratch. Powder it. Y'all, I've made one mistake after another. My pores are wide open. I feel like I got wrinkles. Well, this is the look today. These products are not, majority of them are not cruelty free. So sad. I feel like a little spark on my lip. Maybe it'll make me feel better. And then I'm gonna use this Tardis <clears throat> mascara. Yeah, I only wear mascara on my top lashes. That's just my style, my thing. Um, I don't follow what everybody else does, and because, and I also don't like false lashes all that much. I do wear them occasionally, but um, I don't like them all that much. And I also don't line my whole eyes. Only half because I'm handicapped my hand issues oh and then we were vlogging about baby that's pretty much it i gave you all the update the hcg um hormone which causes the symptoms as early as implantation i think that's what it said online so um it also can cause some spotting which i did mention in my last video I did have um, a little bit of spotting. It was really red, really red blood. Um, and that was like three days, two days before my period was due, which could have been an implantation. But I think that I thought I would have thought that happened before. I don't know. I think it all just depends on whenever I was, you know, when I, when the shit went down, okay? Um, I think that's what it is. This is going to be longer than my normal 15 minute video that I've been trying to keep up. But, guess what? It's going to be less than 30 minutes. 
promise that because I'm done except for this mascara. I'm not really good. Oh, and I set my face too. I use Wet n Wild. My um, products I try to use, strive to use the most are cruelty free. But this is the look. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a great day. Stay healthy, happy, and get wealthy, bitches.